Hey guys, my name is Chloe, and today I'm going to be filming a video that I've never filmed before, but I've always kind of wanted to. It is a book review video on the book Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. Um, yeah, I just finished this book, I would say, a few weeks ago, and I want to talk about it. I My sister got it for me, the signed version, which I don't even know if it's actually signed, but I have the hardback copy of it and is there a little this is like the thing that's wrong on the back covers I'm gonna read that to you really quickly so 16 year old Aza never intended to pursue the mystery of oh a fugitive billionaire Russell Pickett but there's a hundred thousand dollar reward at stake and her best friend and most fearless friend Daisy is eager to investigate so together they navigate the short my phone battery is dying um, the short distance and broad divides <laughs> that separate them from russell pickett's son davis aza or aza i always said aza in my bread my brain <laughs> aza is trying she's trying to be a good daughter a good friend a good student and maybe even a good detective while also living within her ever tightened spiral of her own thoughts um, and then it says, in the long-awaited return, John Green, the acclaimed award-winning author of Looking for Alaska and the Fall in Our Stars, shares Aza's story with shattering, unflinching <laughs> clarity in this brilliant novel of love, resilience, and the power of lifelong friendship. Sorry I stuttered. I, I got to struggle at reading aloud. It makes me nervous. Anywho, um, I'm going to insert my goodreads review right here i did not look at it before i wrote the or before i started this video so if you want to check out my goodreads check it out but i really like this book it did take me a little bit to get into it i think just i haven't read in a long time for enjoyment i um yeah which is sad <laughs> this book once i got started i would say maybe how many chapters are here i think maybe like two chapters in I was taken away but to get into those two chapters it did for me at least take a little bit um yeah I really like how John Green went about um talking about Oz's mental health and how John Green worked the story and how each character you felt as if like I'm a person that I always insert myself with the characters that I'm reading so at first I was like okay like interesting um, and then I kind of like insert myself within the characters so like I felt myself in Oz's place as I was reading it and so as her character developed and as Davis's character developed as Daisy's and everyone else's characters developed it was really interesting to kind of go on this journey with them um, and yeah there's moments though in here that I'm like really Daisy like I do not like Daisy but there's also moments I'm like really awesome like come on so I say this book is really good I recommend it um out of five stars I would give it a five it got me back into reading and that's what I needed I've tried to read some other books and they just haven't like captivated me like this one like I said it did take a moment but um the day that I got captivated I was in the park with my sister and we both brought books to read and I was like okay like we're gonna be here for like 10 minutes right and then I ended up reading it for like an hour and I was just like oh my god oh my god like I didn't want to put it down so I think please give this a try and yeah I really like it um I don't really know what else to talk about I just personally like how John Green writes I read a bunch of his other books when I was in like middle school um so yeah I don't really know if you guys have any questions that like book reviewers talk about I don't know um I'm not a part of booktube yet maybe but I'm currently reading Dumplin so stay tuned subscribe if you want to uh, hear my review on Dumplin so far it's better than the movie um but yeah hope you guys enjoyed peace out <laughs>